Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, we're gonna look at a very simple product from the company Lit Ones. Now Lit Ones is a company that has a number of products for, and I guess what I would say either, content creators or business professionals who need simple lighting equipment for things like conferences, you know, web conferences and, and things like that. So today we are going to take a look at one of their lamps. Now, the people at Lit Ones reached out to me to see if I'd be interested in taking a look at one of their products. They have a small number of products in their lineup and this particular model here really called out to me for a number of reasons. Now this is what they're calling their F618 cantilever bracket LED fill light. And what you probably don't realize about my channel, and it makes perfect sense, I actually really rely on lighting for everything that you've seen. All of my videos, like right now, well, if I didn't have the right lighting, things would start to look a little bit funny. So I have lighting in very strategic locations for very special purposes to make sure that things are fairly illuminated so that you can see the detail. And that's where this is absolutely going to come into play. And so as we get into this here again, this is the cantilever bracket LED fill light, the F. 618 which on their website they call the square 3 plus desk light for video conference and again keep in mind the fact that that's exactly what i was saying is you know these products are for the most part pretty much used for video conferencing and in my case it's literally going to be perfect to help illuminate my scene help illuminate my video footage and i'm kind of excited to get this out here today because i have some filming to do and i'm like ooh, i will absolutely take advantage of this light so here you can see simple packaging does come with a very basic user's manual this should be the power so as we take a look at it here it's probably just going to be the uh yep so the wall pack here basic and straightforward and then the actual light itself nicely packaged very simple yet at the same time effective and as we slide this out of the packaging this is what got my attention you'll notice right away this nice cantilevered bracket has a good amount of reach and articulation which is awesome the simple desk mounting bracket which is again very simple but i'll show you what really got my attention the most the fact that the head here completely swivels and on top of that it is just a gorgeous diffused light diffused light is critical if you know anything about photography or videography you'll always hear people saying on those overcast days oh today's going to be a beautiful day for photographs and that's because of the diffused light you don't want directional light for the most part you don't want harsh shadows so sunny days can be very problematic cloudy days typically lead to very nice and even photographs well lit evenly lit and so that's what we're going to get here with the f618 so all things considered very nice now as we take a look at this in a little bit more detail here this is going to be the control so we're going to have a timer we should be able to control color temperature if i remember correctly power and then brightness levels simply peeling off this little bit of protective film and on the back side here you can see this is where we plug in the power so that's easy and flipping this back over now immediately you can see that the power button does illuminate which as i press that the light does come on and i am able to toggle higher and lower so as i zoom this all the way out you'll see again pressing this up that's going to make the light really bright dimming it down having control like this over the lighting is again critical to my needs that's just awesome and so what we're going to do just here you can see there you go cool so that's very warm sort of medium cool warm medium cool i believe if i sort of had to think it through with my existing lighting by the looks of it, it's probably a little more towards the cool, but I try to kind of match my color temperature. 
with my overhead lights and then the lights you see from in front. So for example, I can actually tweak out all the color of the light in front of me and make it real warm. I can make it kind of medium or cool. And I do find that I think for the most part, I am tending towards a little more on the cool side. So the fact that I can change the color temperature here is literally essential to matching the source and making sure everything looks evenly lit as well as in the proper color temperature. As we get a look at the actual clamp, you get about two and a half inches of space. So once you fully open up the clamp, again, about two and a half inches of space, which is a pretty good amount, all things considered. And so for the comparison here, you can see this is pretty much how the lighting was from my downward angle in the past. And now at this point, well, if I turn on the lit ones lamp, a nice even glow. Now, is it going to be even from left to right or only in front of me? Hard to say. I will definitely need to practice. Turning off my original main lights, you can see here just the lit ones doing the work here. It's actually pretty nice, all things considered. It looks pretty good in my opinion. Fairly even and not too bad in terms of the shadows. So, I mean, again, everything always needing a little bit of an adjustment and, you know, a work in progress. But for the most part, I'd say this looks pretty good. And so the only other thing worth considering, it can be a little bit harsh. Right now I have the light kind of beaming in front of me as I turn it up and down. You can see actually evening out on my face nicely. So taking that and just rocking it back, nice subtle glow, a little bit better. Again, now I can actually enhance with some of the side lights, get everything nice and even. And that's actually pretty good. So, I mean, in terms of my ability now to talk through a product, get down to the review, and really have lighting that I think should cast fairly even, all things considered, again, it'll take a little bit of practice, a little more setup, getting things dialed in, but I like it. And so, well, at this point, this light setup in front of me, I'm sitting here giving my exit to this video. I do think it's going to be a nice enhancement to my overall studio setup. It's a good quality light, nice even beam, diffused wonderfully. And the fact that I get the different color temperatures, warm, sort of that medium, and that's yeah, I'm looking here, that's a little more neutral, which I like. That's probably a better cast. And then here, the cool, the cool definitely uh, getting a little bit harsh. So that mid-tone, that's gonna be nice. And that's a nice even light, all things considered. I'm looking past the camera into my viewfinder. But yes, just a good amount of light. So again, to the people at Lit Ones, thank you very much for providing this for review. And for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless too. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.